names are Kaitale Ivan Daniel, Senior Six Lake. I do literature, economics, and geography, though. Um, this is my final year. I love debate. I was in Kenya, and I was part of this marvelous like session. And debate is family. When you ask me why I love debate, yeah, thank you. So thank you, Abenes of Jamate Meketia. I'm in Senior Five, MPC Mathematics, Physics, and Computer Sciences. So I'm a, I'm a debater too. I made up the voice there in. And Nairobi in the debates, uh, they are sophomore, so debate is a lot of things. I, I can't find one word to explain debate to me, so it, it's everything in my life, so thank you. I like the fact that you're saying debate is a lot of things. Actually, to me, I don't even see debate as a club. I see this thing as an umbrella. I mean, we are people who can discuss what is being discussed in the purpose, Rwanda. We have people who can discuss music, we can talk about the, the role of music in society. That is yeah. the purpose of a debate, right? That's why we say everything. Yes, everything. We can't find anyone who to describe debate. <laughs> Thank you, my name is Murray Bukili and I'm very happy to be at this place. Uh, I was, I'm also part of the debating club. I've been in Nairobi, it's a good place. And I'd like to say this, together we can, me and you. Thank you. All right. I'm Keza Emil, a student from Senior 5. PCB Physics, Chemistry and Biology and I'm also a debater and glad to also debate on, on every topic on worldwide. Thank you. Okay. Great. And that, from that point is where we started because I'm only going to ask one question that I asked when we were in Nairobi. Uh, we travelled to Kigali, Rwanda because we believe in the future of this country. We believe in the future of this country because a country is a people. We are interested in your progress, you are interested in our progress. You visited us because you believed in us. We are here because we believe in you, right? We are all Africans, and Africa must always remain the thing that we are fighting for. What is this one thing that you are so passionate about in life, especially about the continent of Africa? Uh, me, the fact that we Africans, we are the first developed continent in the world, that makes me feel proud of being an African, the first of all. Mm -hmm. And then, the second fact is uh, me being able, like, I have a story behind me being a debater dog, despite the fact I don't think this is the right moment for me to, uh, to bring it down. Mm -hmm. But then, the ability of doing, being multitasking, that's why I am proud to be an African. Not to answer the question like you just asked it, like, you know, in, in, uh, you know a trick way. Me, my thing to say I'm proud to be an African is because I'm an African. Mm -hmm. You're an African and Africa is born in you. <laughs> an African, I'm an African born in Africa. Uh -huh. and African blood is in me. Ah, yeah. Powerful. The blood, the African blood flows in all the veins of your body. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So the question goes like, one thing I love about Africa. Mm -hmm. So Africa we go through a lot. First of all, I love Africa, but first going on, how's Rwanda, Rwanda is promoting right now. So I love Africa because as Rwanda, talking for Rwanda, we passed through a lot, but we are still fighting for being the best. We saw that our lands, our resources were being used. We are trying to see how we can at least bring it back together, bring back the peace. So that's why I love about, uh, about Africa, actually. We are united. We know what we want. Even though we can miss those problems coming from those foreigners, but still we know what we want. As as the youth, our parents and the, our grannies were all working for that. So. We keep on doing that until we get our land back, and that's why I love Africa. Wonderful. Okay, thank you. So, to answer the question, what I love most about Africa, the most thing that I love about Africa is our culture, African culture. Because I do believe that the unity that we have in Africans, it's all about our culture. It's our culture that brings us together, it's our culture that helps us achieve what we want. So, I believe maintaining and having our culture as, as it was not actually. Uh, getting used to the Western culture or just focusing on our culture. I think it's the best thing that I do I love about Africa because it's one of the most unique things that we have that we have to be part of. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah, okay. <coughs> what I'm all passionate about Africa is about its nature. Um, the African nature is the best nature that I've ever seen. Uh, from re being resourceful than every continent that are uh, in the world, it makes it me being passionate about it and it, it gave me hope that if we work hard towards it, if we ha work hard to process it, to be having, it will be a very resourceful and we will be able to uh, exploit it and use it well, other than giving it to the Europeans. And also I'm passionate about how African culture encourages unity, as he, as he said, like our culture was of unity, but then after Europeans came and changed everything, 
uh, their unity somehow disappear. But then today we can see that Africans are trying now to start unity again. So I'm very passionate about our unity and how we are resourceful. Mm -hmm. I want to do something while standing and maybe also just walking as uh, maybe you, as we finish this. Just stand up. I think this is this is very important for me. Um, you know, uh, you all travel to Kenya, right? And we've traveled to Rwanda. What is one thing that you liked and you'd like to tell Kenyans keep doing this? Yes, one thing that you saw and you said oh, perfect. As Kenyans keep doing this, I also tell you what I would like to tell Rwandans to keep on doing. Where do we start? Okay. Okay. Me, one thing I liked about Kenya, we are from Rwanda and we are from a different culture that is actually contradicting from the culture of Kenyans. But then the Kenyans welcomed us as fellow Africans. I didn't see anyone calling me a Rwandan. No, everyone was calling me by my name. Don't like, uh, most countries we've been going to, like two, sorry, they've been calling us by Rwandans, right? You understand? But then that spirit that Kenyans showed to us that we are fellow Africans and not Rwandans. Mm -hmm. Kenyans keep doing that. Amazing. Okay, thank you. What I like most about Kenya is how they have they, like this hard working. Like they are really hard working. If you wake up in the morning and be like, I want to get a lot of money today. You find your ways and you get it. So that's the best thing I love about you. Uh, I mean Kenya. Mm -hmm. So keep that doing that. Thank you. Wow. The things that I've liked most about Kenyans. The first, there are actually two things that I've liked. The first is how they are passionate. They want to see their country actually developing. They want to see, uh, they want to see their country actually receiving the best. Their citizens, they want the people in Kenya want to see their country having the most of, 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 of it. And the second thing that I've liked is the way they are very innovative. You know, through their innovation, through their creativity, it has helped Kenya's economy boost. And that's the most thing that I like about Kenyans, and it has really inspired me. Keep on doing that. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah, what I liked most about Kenya is flexible economy. I like the way someone can start with a small capital and trade everywhere else that he can do without even more of bureaucratic registrations or more of things, but then they can start work and also the big businesses can also operate at the same time. So Kenyans, keep on on flexible economy of yours. It will develop you. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, New Life um, Christian Academy. I've been to Rwanda quite a number of times, <clears throat> and every time I meet um, Africans in Rwanda, let me call it that way, every time I meet Africans in Rwanda, because we're all Africans, we're just divided by these so-called boundaries, That's I what I'm feel, okay. e exactly, I feel so much inspired because you're a small nation, but we're still coming to learn from you. It tells that sometimes it's never about the size of the dog in the fight but the tactics of the dog in the fight, right? So it's not about whether the dog is small or big, as long as it can fight. And we want you to go ahead, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, the well-organized society, you are leading by example. You are leading on the talks on climate change. You are leading on uh, the actions, actually. You are leading on the unity. And actually, Rwanda becomes the first country in Africa to prove to the rest of the world that solutions can be within. Yeah, from 1994, what happened? I mean, if it happened in other European nations, other countries, they would still be struggling up to now. Here you are, you bounced back strong, uh, you are here again. Talk of even how Rwanda managed to handle COVID-19. Yeah. Everyone is praising it. Yeah? Uh, everyone said, you know, uh, because COVID-19 ca came and it's it, it spreading uh, by this method, the whole continent will perish within one month. We stood firm. Our actions, our leaders, our people follow the guidelines. Here we are traveling again, visiting each other, right? So keep doing what you are doing, and to every Rwandan who is watching, we love you and we love Africa in general, and yeah. keep doing what you are doing. You are amazing people. <laughs> Thank you.